Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Threat, and welcome back to X4 Foundations in the Tides of Avarice, where, as you can see, the station that we were looking at in the last episode is a little bit more crispy and fried than it was in the last episode. Uh, I've been attacking it with the uh, the three main capital ships of, of my uh, my fleet, or the only three capital ships of my... Well, I suppose I've got some uh, some others, but uh, they're not really particularly all that good. Uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, our main capital ships. The Sin, uh, in, in the most parts, is uh, is firing a heck of a lot of sh shots at it. Uh, and then the other two, Odysseus E, are uh, uh, firing the odd bit of plasma here and there and slowly working on this last little bit over here. Uh, and then, hopefully, this particular station will be done, uh, which is uh, absolutely great. We're sitting in the sin currently, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to target that last bit there, because that's the only bit that's actually there, as far as I'm aware. I don't think anything else can build now. Oh, this is already set to inactive. That's brilliant. Okay, let's target that. Uh, and have a look at how we're doing. I've been avoiding the guns by just being out of the way. Uh, and that's that's worked wonders. So, yeah. Hopefully, we shall get to wreck this thing. Uh, and then, there'll be none of it left. I have been absolutely swarmed by, uh, by the Xenon uh, in the meanwhile. They've been sending um, N's, M's, uh, and defense drones. Uh, for absolutely ages, and it's most horrifically um, dangerous uh, being uh, being around that all that. But these ships with their flat cannons, wow! These ships with their flat cannons do a good job of getting rid of, uh, of of that. So I'm curious how much rep we're going to get for actually annihilating a station of the Xenon. Uh, we're in setter now, so that we can uh, we can do this a uh, uh, quick variety. There it goes. It didn't. It didn't do the massive boom that you would expect because we were in setter, so it's it was just like done. So that's it. It's destroyed. Are we going to get? Uh, are we going to get the rep for that? Come on, give me rep. You know you can give me rep. I think that it's better to do um, destroying of of, of stations in uh, in out of sector. Combat. I don't think it's all that good doing it in insector combat, unless you've got like masses and masses of torpedoes and you can just Katana. wreck it with the uh, with a. a... Thanks for your help. That's nice. What? I get forty thousand? Are you kidding me? I wreck a station and you give me forty thousand in cash? That's it. Ah, I should leave the station. Yeah. But the uh, the thing that I've been finding is that you can get tons and tons of cash from uh, from shooting the, uh, the the xenon in the area. But really, if you want to actually earn rep, then you do not want to be shooting the uh, the the xenon stations way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's just it just doesn't work. They don't care. Uh, they they only care about the, the xenon that are sitting right next to their uh, their stations, uh, and as such, it's uh, it's it's worthless to uh, to be shooting out the the ones that are way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so yeah, if if there was xenon over here, they would they would be they would find that important. Uh, but the xenon over there, nah, forget it. Who cares? What does it matter? Well, it matters a little to me. Because uh, I wanted a rep, and we've managed to get virtually none from shooting all those things. So I'm going to have to go into this sector again and try and earn a rep with the with the uh, the, the uh, split, so that we can get access to those uh, level four engines, the the Mark IV combat engines. I have been um, continuing to sell um, to sell uh, all sorts of things uh, in the uh, in the in the area. Uh, the um, 
satellites and stuff I've been selling in, well not in this area but in other places uh, and the weapons again to try and earn some cash we're currently at 85 million I don't know whether that's 85 million and full of satellites and stuff no it isn't, it's 85 million and we've got a few satellites hmm. and I've been working on making this Cobra uh, which is currently sat in Argon Prime I'm hoping that it's at a um, worthwhile station let's teleport to that uh, and uh, and step straight into the station, uh, and we'll get this uh, this particular ship that we're in somewhere Entering safe. Whilst we Are do this, fine. I need to make this ship good uh, because currently it's um, just only just freshly bought, I guess, uh, and we've we've not really put anything Cobra. decent on it. Okay, so let's go over to the car Ar Argon Wharf and actually modify this cobra because this is the cobra is my favorite ship uh, for for using as your personal fighter uh, and uh, it's it's because you can put chimera on the back uh, and that will take care of most uh, most of the turrets and stuff on uh, on ships i got to i got to make sure that my um, personal fighter isn't getting blasted by xenon now uh, what's what's it doing it's got light like, set to follow a commander, but it's not actually following a commander, which is a bit weird. What are you doing there? Why are you just sitting there? Are you the? Hang on, wait a minute. You the, oh yeah, no, no, no that's, that's okay. That's that is that ship. That's okay. Right. So, um, it looks as if it's set to follow that ship, but it's also just not following the ship, isn't it? Let's uh, remove all orders. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Lord, is gone. Excellent. Uh, so I'll send him over there because that's uh, near this. I think I could do with buying a uh, a building ship because I've sent two building ships to try and build this factory that the, uh, the, the split wanted me to build. Uh, and both of the building ships that I sent to get there to actually help me build the station, the station are um, missing in action. As it were. I think that they got as far as Hatikva's um, choice and then got blasted to pieces. In fact, that might have been one of them there. Hmm. Yeah, it, I did actually send in for one of those. So actually, it could be that one. Oh dear. So it looks like I need to deal with the Xenon in this area before I can actually um, get a builder over there. Because they are just murdering anything that goes anywhere near it. Uh, which is somewhat too excessively difficult to deal with. Uh, and obviously my ships don't go through Hatikva's Choice because, ha, ha, I'm not going through Hatikva's Choice. Good grief. Um, but they will if I send them there deliberately. Uh, but mostly I just tell them not to go there. So, yeah, they, they don't. Right, you, get out of that way. Okay, now, this has got the... Um, I, I like bought this recently, so how can it have that particular ship paint job? That's weird. It's got the um, hang on, wait a minute. No, I didn't buy this. This is not the Cobra. Where where's the Cobra? There we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I was wondering why it didn't look quite the same. Okay, so we have um, flat cannons on this so far. We have the um, the shields. We have the right engines. Uh, and so we're, we're all set up for actually modifying it, but I haven't got the front guns set up yet because I haven't bought them. So yeah, we need to we need to buy the front guns at some stage. Uh, at the moment, though, we're into the chassis mod. Uh, the chassis mod that I usually go for with this is a, usually a um, mass mod to get the mass down, uh, so that it can go faster. That's uh, that's usually my approach. So let's see how this will go. Yes. So now it can go at 907 uh, uh, meter, kilometers a second, something like that. Uh, and this is pretty good on the uh, on the reduction of the mass. It's it's 22 out of 23. That's that's not bad at all. And considering we've got 22 on the reduction of the drag, that's excellent. So uh, yes, our ship is doing nicely. Now, do I have a Pavis mod? Is oh, the uh, is the question. That's nice. No, I don't have a Pavis mod. So I might have to take a Pavis mod off something else if I can. Then I can get that uh, that working better. Now I need uh, the slingshot one for the forward thrust. Uh, so let's get some forward thrust, shall we? I don't need um, 
like travel thrust mode because we're, we're we can get to let's see travel mode is 4500 it's not bad it's not the best of travel mode speeds but it's it's not bad so you know uh, let's see what we get oh we get 10 10 percent that's rubbish uh, let's try again let's re-roll that 15 hmm we have a strafe uh, thing of 26, which is pretty good. In fact, those are pretty good as well. That gets me up to 1,045, but it's only half the amount that we could get. Hmm, but look at all of those other stats. I don't know. Let's dismantle that one and just go for another one. 13! Oh, lovely. No. Uh, oh, 13 again! This is how I end up spending tons of cash on modifications. 18? <laughs> Oh, come on now. Anything over 20, and I'll consider it. That's 10. Uh, 25! Ooh, brilliant! Okay, 25 is decent. Uh, it's not given as much by way of the other things. But we've now got up to 1,135, which is pretty blooming good. And the travel speed has gone up to 8,450. That, I think is going to have to be that. Uh, so yes, our, uh, our, our um, Cobra now has an awesome travel speed and a brilliant main speed. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be good. So let's not ever destroy that one. Uh, we have these cannons. I don't think we've got any mods for the, uh, for the, have we got any mods? Oh, we have got mods for those. Ooh, I could improve the flat cannons now. Do I want to improve the flight cannons is another question. Hmm. Uh, I'm tempted to put damage on them. Ooh, the damage mod could be good. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, it'll never get anywhere near 34, I reckon. <laughs> it'll probably be way off that. Uh, is 34 the best? I think the 34 is the best, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Awaiting oh. That's nice, you continue to await orders. Okay, so let's go for trying to improve that. Oh, great, that got 10%. 10%? Ah. Mm, try again. 13%? Why does it refuse to give me a good number? Oh, hello. There we go. 30. That'll do. 30 out of 34, that's not bad at all. Uh, and we've still got three of those left, so we could actually uh, get some more. I like to modify the um, the turrets specifically because uh, the turrets will just fire. They don't have like a, a, a slowdown of, uh, of firing, unlike the main guns. The main guns will always reduce dramatically in uh, their ability to fire um, as you fire them. But turrets? No, they'll just keep firing, which is amazing. Uh, well, if you run them. I mean, I have a tendency to uh, to turn my turrets off and, and not run them at all. Uh, because uh, I don't like to be firing turrets right next to stations uh, uh, or other friendly things. And as such, I, I have a tendency not to use it. Oh, that one rolled 25 immediately. That's brilliant. I mean, I know it's 34 for the uh, for the top amount but 25 will definitely do it's not it's not terrible uh, so yeah how's this going 34 wow I couldn't have done better if I tried well I could have done a little bit better if I tried but not not too much so that's all of the guns set up uh, for the for the turrets and they're all at the front uh, which means I can really sort of face down enemies and uh, and, and hopefully destroy those in time. we need to get a pavis mod for this uh, so that its shields aren't 18. They'll be significantly higher. Uh, but first, what we need to do is we need to... Oh, well, we've spent quite a few million doing that. Uh, first, we need to actually improve its um, guns. Or, indeed, actually attach guns, because it hasn't got guns on it. Oh, I've got a lot of ships on this station. That's a surprise. Uh, okay, let's go to the Cobra and actually put guns... On. Hello! Get out of my chair, thank you. There's not enough space in the front of the uh, of the Cobra uh, for them to actually sit comfortably whilst I actually move around them. Right, now, what do I want in the front of in the guns in this ship? I don't really know what to put in the guns in the ship at all. Uh, I mean, I know that I'll probably want one of those, 
I probably want one of those because they're really good. The, uh, the the shield reduction power of those is vast, but I don't think I want any other guns from here for for the uh, for the Cobra. I think I might send it back into split space uh, and ask it to get um, what are you doing? some of the split guns anyway, some of the fast firing split guns uh, because I tend to want to. I, don't, I, don't, I might want plasma though. Because this particular ship is more likely to be firing against, um, like, big ships. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I might go on the uh, the, the the fast firing other things uh, from the from the um, split. That might be the way. I think. Okay, this ship is scheduled for a a, a, a thingy. Great. You be scheduled for that. And I'll get on Hello. with other things. I don't know why I'm needed to sit in the ship to do that. Uh, right. So, what else is going on around the universe? Well, obviously, I'm still trying to destroy the uh, the Xenon from around here. I've got um, the the main Terran mission that I need to actually move on. Uh, actually, at the moment, uh, they're they're over here, uh, and uh, and I need to teleport there and talk to the people in charge. Or the uh, the lady in charge. Entering Are we system. in the area in a way Solve. that we can get... Oh, heck. The, she's not there, is she? She's over somewhere else. Where is she? Good question. Let's have a look at the Terran mission. Yeah, because I've done most of the Terran mission stuff. Uh, and now it's down to very much the end of the Terran mission stuff. Where the heck are they? What's Operation Smoke and Mirrors? Is that the one? Oh, it is the one. Okay, so where are they trying to send me? Why are they trying to send me over there? Hey? What? I thought I was supposed to talk to Delilah. This doesn't look like talking to Delilah. It looks like going over somewhere else. <laughs> um, open briefing. I'm going to have a look at what this one is. Your hard work is about to pay off because I've been doing all sorts of sabotage type stuff. This is what it has all been leading up to as uh, scaly associates are about to stage an assault on the relay station that's uh, the the argons have got a station and they are um trying to get information from them uh, and this is how they're doing it uh, while they distract the security forces you will infiltrate the server room and pull everything you can get your hands on out of those archives this could be the heist of the century and if you do your job right no one will even know you pulled this off yeah Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the personal fighter over there, I think, because we're actually not far away. Are we not far away? Just a second. <laughs> am, I, am I bazillions of miles away from that? Hey, personal fighter, go over there uh, and tell me if you're a long way away from that. That would be that would be good. Um, Yeah, you're a long way away from that. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, maybe you're a little bit far away from that. Uh, I don't really have any good fighting ships that are in the area, as far as I'm aware. Because I've been limiting my ship numbers quite a lot, because I don't want to end up with bazillions of ships all over the place. Ignore all of the Ares. We're still doing the Paranid quests. Uh, and these uh, these Ares are part of that quest. They, they all want to be... Uh, doing something else but uh, I, I need to build four more before I do that uh, and they want some other ships as well and then the Baronet quest will be continued uh, but uh, we've been doing little things on the side because I didn't have any money uh, so yeah now we're getting a little bit more money we're getting closer to uh, actually continuing with this quest uh, I do I could get the Astrid over there I guess but the Astrid's really not good for um, you know much other than other than actually grabbing ships over here, uh, this is what I've been doing with the Astrid. I've sent it over here, and I've, uh, and I've, I've been grabbing things like that. The Prometheus. The Prometheus. I really like the Prometheus ships, because uh, that's a great way of getting uh, getting all of the mods that you want. Uh, and that's why I've got, like, 40-something different um, 
uh, chassis mods because because uh, I've been grabbing Prometheus and it seems like chassis mods are the only things that they like to stick on them. Anyhow, uh, yeah. So the uh, the Astrid has been grabbing those over there, uh, and uh, and we haven't really got many fighting ships in the area. So we're waiting for the um, for the the personal fighter to get over there. Uh, and that's pretty much it, isn't it? I can't really do much else whilst uh, whilst I'm waiting for that. <laughs> but our stations are getting on brilliantly. Uh, the uh, the the problem that I had before with this uh, this um, Grand Exchange station just not having the money and everything has been solved. Uh, so it is now. Uh, slowly gathering a little bit more money. It's I've just recently nabbed all of the extra money from it, so it's down to 58 million uh, instead of uh, 54 million, which is its requested needs. Why has it got a problem with this? What's your problem? Pause production? No. Modules waiting for storage? Oh! Ah! Okay, the problem is it can't sell it enough. It can't sell it fast enough. We've got too much energy. That's the problem. <laughs> I thought that the problem might be something else. It might be a lack of it. But no, we've got so much energy that we don't know what to do with it. All right, fine. Uh, we need um, metallic micro lattice, silicon carbide and com computonic substrates. So I actually need to steal some blueprints sometime soon so that we can actually get those uh, nabbed as well. Where am I now? Oh, I'm in. Uh, I'm in a. I'm in a. I'm in a Terran station. No char. Yeah, I don't even have the cockpit for that. <laughs> Doesn't count. I'm still in the other thing. Now. Uh, yeah. I don't, oh, 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 are you waiting? Or you're actually there? Good grief! That was quicker than I thought it would be. I knew that little ship would get there fast. It's it's a good ship. Hey, brilliant, good ship personal fighter wonderful let's go over there and uh, and actually work with that on the Enjoy mission the which we are Get now support. right next to which is a bit Katana. of a surprise hello please tell me i don't need a small fighter for this if i need a small fighter for this i'm going to be exceptionally disappointed because <laughs> this happens all the time me bringing the wrong ship to the mission all right so what am i supposed to do about this talk to delida is she in, is she on the ship that's nice. You await orders. I might send those against that other um, against that other station, just to see how they'll do against the station without me um, micromanaging them at uh, at every stage. Because that's what I did with this one. I I, I micromanaged them like crazy. Uh, I actually sat in them, drove them to the place near the uh, near the Xenon station that they needed to attack, and then let them attack it. Uh, with their plasma guns, and I definitely need to dock on that, don't I? Do I? Nice ship. It's one of those big traders. Okay, I definitely need to dock on this. Yep, 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 definitely. Okay, so if I need to dock on that, I might as well get off this. Get into space. Hello. Hope Katana. that that ship's not going fast and won't leave me behind. <laughs> oh, heck. Yeah. Okay, this uh, activate Bella. this. Vanguard. No, I don't want to board it. I want to get on Docking it. Granted. Ah! Wow. I really should have brought a smaller ship. This is why I want to fix the Cobra up. Because if I fix the Cobra up, then I'll have a small ship. Uh, because I'll have the Chimera stuck to the uh, stuck to the Cobra. I guess I could have used it on like another uh, like a, a bigger ship from the uh, from the. Um, Area, like the E, one of the E's would have been fine. The uh, the Odysseus E, because I made the Odysseus e, e that it would actually go really really fast. It goes like three hundred, uh, which is pretty good. Hello. Excellent work so far, Agent. Thank you. First things first. Take this. It is what a is forged this? Sandwell archive pass. Lovely. You'll need it to access the planetary database once you're inside the server room. Now, mm -hmm. how you will gain entry to that room in the first place is another matter. All right. A matter for which I have asked our associate here to join us. Hooray! That's scale, scale plate pack guy. Will provide us with a diversion. Oh, I remember My this fleet mission. My will stage a raid against the station when they inevitably refuse to surrender. <laughs> 
We will launch a full-scale attack. Fun. Yes. Antigone security will have their hands full. Once the fighting starts, you should be able to gain entry easily. All of their marines should be otherwise engaged. One more <laughs> thing. When your subordinate here approaches the station, we cannot simply turn a blind eye to that ship. It would be a shame if we blow our cover and our little ruse falls apart mm -hmm. just because we did not take action. In order to really sell this, I have ordered my fleet to shoot down anything trying to pass. They are Great. in of our little arrangement. <laughs> so do not expect any mercy. Lovely. Good. Yeah. Then it's agreed. Agent, set up in close proximity to the station and wait for the diversion to commence. Good luck, gentlemen. Will do. Anyway, I've not noticed any differences with the uh, with the Terran missions, uh, so I, this is why I've not really covered the Terran missions. But as you can see, this is the stage that we are at with the Terran missions. I really haven't got much left to do with them. Uh, but uh, once I've done that, hopefully, I think that they give us some money, and really, money is what I need at the moment to actually get on with the, with what we're doing with the Paranid missions. Uh, and uh, obviously uh, the more money I have the more big ships I can make uh, so yeah I also need to make uh, big ships which means actually being able to make big ships which means I need a, a, a shipyard section which I haven't got yet uh, so yeah we'll work on that but we'll have to work on those sorts of things in later episodes because I'm all out of time in the meanwhile you take care thanks for watching feel free to watch other things on my channel feel free to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time bye for now